Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner. Welcome to another episode of Speed Secrets. Today, we're working with our friends from Comp Cams. In fact, not just Comp Cams. We also invited the guys from FAST and RHS. You see, our test today involves upgrading the heads, cam, and intake manifold on a 5.7 liter LS1. In truth, this kind of upgrade can be applied to any LS motor, 4.8, 5.3, or 6 liter. How about a 6.2 or even 7 liter LS7? In truth, this kind of upgrade can be applied to any motor, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, import, or domestic. So let's take a look at our test motor and jump on the dyno. Before getting to our test motor, we need to talk about why you would upgrade the heads, cam, and intake on a 5.7 liter. The reality is that the power output of any combination comes primarily from these three. That's what we call the big three, the heads, cam, and intake. Now sure, the short block is responsible for power, especially if you increase the displacement, but the majority of the power comes from the big three. Now you can upgrade just one of these, camshaft being the most popular on an LS application. But after you do that, the other two are still going to limit power. The same holds true if you upgrade two of them. The third one is still going to be limiting. That's why we installed heads, cam, and intake on our 5.7 liter. Our test motor was a 5.7 liter LS1 crate motor, meaning it was an LS1 from an early Camaro. Now we installed this motor up on the dyno and ran it with a fast XFI management system. Run with long tube headers, our stock LS1 produced 414 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and 418 foot-pounds of torque at 4,700 RPM. Now that we've established our baseline with our stock LS1, it's time for the upgrades. After establishing our baseline, we replaced the factory LS1 heads, cam, and intake with the components from RHS, comp cams, and fast. The factory LS1 heads were replaced by a set of 205 heads from RHS. These high flow heads were teamed with a healthy comp cam. The 54-459-11 cam featured a 617-624 lift split, a 231-239 degree duration split, and 113 degree lobe separation angle. The heads and cam were fed by a fast LSXR manifold and a 102 millimeter throttle body. With all the new components installed, we put our test motor back on the dyno. After installation of those RHS heads, comp cam, and fast intake, our 5.7 liter LS1 produced 539 horsepower at 6,700 RPM and 464 foot-pounds of torque at 5,500 RPM. Those represented gains of 125 horsepower and 46 foot-pounds of torque over the stock LS1. And it just goes to show you how much heads, cam, and intake are really worth. I'm Richard Holdner, that's all the time I have. I want to thank the guys at Comp, Fast, and RHS. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.